Hello, this is a brief introduction to the Law Reg project. My name is Dr. Asma Vunaki and I am a law lecturer at Bristol U University. Uh, now, the Law Reg project aims to look at uh, the role of privacy enhancing technologies in protecting data privacy rights. The project has two strands. It has firstly a legal strand where we are going to look at uh, uh, the law in detail to look at the legal challenges, but also advantages of using pets. And here it would be really great uh, to get your uh, views on what you think of a more salient data protection issues where pets can be levied and also the, the uh, sectors where pets could be applied. Uh, the regulatory strand of uh, the project would consist mostly of empirical work uh, which would uh, take the form of interviews of key stakeholders like regulators, policy makers and industry to generate fresh thinking about the roles of pets in the regulatory arsenal. And here we will also look at the roles of regulatory interventions other than pets in protecting fundamental rights and freedom. Thank you so much for listening and do get in touch uh, if uh, uh, you want to engage more with the Law Right project. Hi, my name is David Ellis and I'm based in the School of Management at the University of Bath. This is a brief overview of the Interact project where we'll be working with several other colleagues also at Bath. Many online harms can be aligned with different technology interactions and these can take place across multiple devices and services that are always on. Let's take one example, disinformation. Anyone can share inaccurate information online. But going a step further, here's a website that lets anyone create their very own fake news. Now someone can create harmful content, share it with their best friend via a text message, or transmit it to the world. Now most people would agree that creating material is very different from simply sharing it. Yet many terms to describe these behaviours are used interchangeably, and the potential harm of such content is difficult to measure as is the impact of any intervention. To help with this challenge, Interact aims to build a taxonomy that will define different technology interactions as they relate to online harms. This is as much about the people as it is the technology, and will combine principles from psychological science, data science, and human-computer interaction. I'm Laura Smith from the Department of Psychology at the University of Bath. Mitigate is the third project at Bath for Refrain, on which I'm working with Danai Stanton Fraser, Adam Joinson, and David Ellis, and it builds upon the Harm and Interact projects. The aim of Mitigate is to understand the impact of mitigation strategies on online harms. Several strategies are routinely used by social media companies, governments, and online communities to prevent, disrupt, or reduce online harms. These include setting community standards, removing content that violates those standards, blocking user accounts and moderation. These strategies aim to reduce the harm that may come to individual users and communities from social media use. The Mitigate project will investigate the causal mechanisms that connect online behaviours and online harms, design and test mitigation strategies that work with those mechanisms, and provide data on the efficacy of those strategies. The result will be a set of validated mitigation strategies that are known to reduce online harms. Survey will provide us with a clear, systematic analysis of efforts to address protecting citizens online worldwide. Through 20 carefully selected countries, we'll look at the policy processes, initiatives, successes and failures in order to support best practice policy development in the UK and internationally. For an issue like this, which has so many elements, interests, values and requirements, many of them competing or even conflicting with one another, a much deeper understanding of how governments approach this is needed. We'll ask and answer questions about how protecting citizens online is conceptualized in different political communities which departments or agencies take the lead, which soft initiatives have been implemented and with what success, and in those governments that have taken a legislative approach to this, what form has it taken? The findings from survey will provide clear indications of areas of common approach that could lead to international policy collaborations or alignment.
ORTAP aims to examine law enforcement perspectives on the abuse of pets for criminal purposes and identify potential mitigations to address these, with a particular focus on the potential integration of automated tools that can actually help um, law enforcement and society to understand some of these challenges. So the, the project will really analyse the current and future potential abuse of commercially available pets for criminal purposes, using specific online harms as a primary case examples, really, and then consider the potential role of automated methods to address these. So these automated methods will focus on a combination of novel text mining and image and video um, based analysis techniques that are able to flag a range of online harms on social media. Hello, I'm Emiliano Di Cristofaro. I'm a professor at UCL and I'll be leading the project Proactive, which will develop and field novel techniques to proactively counter online harms on social networks. So things like abuse, hate, misinformation, disinformation, cyberbullying, and so on. So current research efforts on online harms have mostly focused on examining single platforms or isolating known source of abuse. Unfortunately, one aspect that is often underexplored is how certain web communities act as amplifying platforms for these efforts, in particular communities like 4chan, Reddit, Gab, and so on. These are considered fringe, but thinking that their actions are confined to their platforms is naive and rather than helpful. So in this project, we will study fringe communities to increase our understanding of the role they play in the online harms ecosystem with respect to the actions they cause on other bigger platforms. In particular, we aim to learn how to proactively understand where coordinated actions co perpetrated by users on these platforms are about to spill on mainstream social networks and to do so without infringing on user privacy. Thank you very much. The Meta project will investigate embedding privacy into the network and infrastructure. Currently, the privacy of our web browsing, email, and other internet communications are done through bespoke solutions such as Tor and Mixnets. However, these are limited to particular implementations. Furthermore, non-privacy by design solutions see the opportunity to leverage these privacy tools to save effort. However, it is unclear how non-privacy by design software can effectively and efficiently integrate these privacy building blocks into their own designs because it is difficult to analyze the resulting hybrid systems. Meta seeks to introduce a privacy layer that will integrate these functionalities as building blocks into the network stack. The challenges of this will be how to mitigate abuse as well as scalability for performance. The benefits of Meta will be a comprehensive approach to integrating pets into systems, democratizing anonymous communications and privacy to a wider audience, as well as reduce the effort and mistakes at development and design time. Except will explore consumer views of unacceptable use of pets related data by legitimate organisations. So it effectively aims to investigate consumer perspectives on the use and sharing of pets related data by different types of legitimate organisations. It will do this by using a primarily qualitative methodology in order to make sure we can fully understand different types of consumer views um, with regards to this type of data. And so we'll be focusing primarily on the social and behavioural um, aspects of technology use rather than explicitly focusing on technical aspects or on um, adversarial aspects. So overall, the project will um, undertake a brief kind of review of current research literature related to consumer perceptions and acceptable use, and then obviously undertake some original research in this space.